Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Merle on Time Watch Reviews. My name is Chris and I unbox and review budget watches. And it's been a while since I've released a review video. I've been very busy over the Christmas holiday season and I was sick for a week, not sure if it was COVID or not. And then of course, Christmas time and whatnot, busy with family, busy with preparations. I trust that you all had a very Merry Christmas and I wish you all the very, very best for this coming new year, 2023. Today, I'm really excited to be bringing you this review of the Citizen Promaster Diver. In my opinion, this is one of the best budget dive watches that you can buy. It is a certified ISO 200 meter dive watch, so it is a true dive watch, and that's what we're gonna be looking at in this review. Now, before we get to the review, I do want to say a huge congratulations to a good friend of mine who I met on this journey of doing a YouTube channel. He comments on all of my videos, most of them anyways, 99% of them, almost all of them. He also has dialogued with me over email. His name is Andre, and Andre, over the Christmas break, got himself his Grail watch. Just check this out. This is the wrist roll of Andre's brand new Omega Speedmaster. Just take a look at the case back on this beautiful watch. He got this to celebrate a special milestone in his life. And so, Andre, I want to say to you, congratulations, man. That is absolutely a fantastic find. Man, I'm so happy for you, and it looks absolutely amazing. Congratulations, my friend. All right, so with that, let's get into my review of the Citizen Promaster Diver, coming up now on Early On Time Watch Reviews. Okay guys, here is the watch. We're going to get up close and personal in just a moment, but I wanna go over the basic specifications before we get to my montage. This is the BN0150-28E. You can see it has a retail price of $450. You can buy this on the Citizen website right now for $380, but, and I'll leave a link in the description below, I bought this one on Amazon. Uh, as of the filming of this video, it is currently listed at $241. Now that is Canadian dollars, so that would be roughly $200 US dollars, maybe a little less. Uh, it is on for a fantastic price. It came supplied with this polyurethane um, strap, basically plastic slash rubber, um, or well, whatever polyurethane is, I'm not sure. It's plastic and uh, I'll talk more about that in just a moment, but I put it on this orange FKM rubber strap that I bought from the Julong store on AliExpress, and I think it looks really fantastic off of that orange minutes hand there. I uh, just think it complements the watch quite nice. It is a beautiful, beautiful watch. I'm really happy that I picked this one up. We're dealing with a 44 millimeter case diameter. The case, by the way, kind of reminds me a little bit of, gives me some of the Seiko Tuna vibes. Uh, the only difference being that it doesn't have any protective shroud around the bezel. Uh, it's 44 millimeters wide. It is 11 millimeters thick. The lug to lug, uh, uh, tip to tip distance on this is 48 millimeters. And it is a 20 millimeter wide lug width for your straps. It is a mineral crystal covering the dial. Obviously, you can see that it is an echo drive solar quartz movement. The movement is the E168, according to the website. I don't really know much about these movements. Uh, the watch head itself is constructed of stainless steel. You do get a branded screw down crown, screw down uh, case back, uh, citizen echo drive, and the globe very familiar uh, etched on to the back of that and so i am very very pleased overall with this watch you get a framed date window right there uh, at the four o'clock as well and you can see that that seconds hand is hitting all of the markers and this watch has wonderful loom as well lots to love about this watch especially for the price 
So let's get up close and personal, the montage that I do, and then we'll come back and I'll discuss the things that I love about this watch and the things that uh, I wasn't so thrilled with. And uh, we'll do that in just a moment. Here's the up close and personal, check it out. So I hope you enjoyed the up close and personal as always music by my friend Adrian over at somewhere in time watch reviews So just want to go over some of the things that I absolutely love about this watch I love the overall aesthetic of that black and white I do really love these indices particularly the ones at the 12 3 6 and 9 which aren't your typical batons or or triangles really think they are unique and uh, perhaps this was intentional when you turn it sideways it looks like the letter C for citizen I don't know if they uh, did that or not but I didn't also realize that the little sliver underneath the tips of these um, indices are all detached and separately applied the indices themselves I think are actually pushed up or stamped up from the bottom of that dial and they're bordered with a nice high polished uh, metal and uh, yeah I like the logo citizen printed there just a, I like the font I, I like every almost everything about this dial I think it's fantastic of course the movement is incredible the fact that it is a grab and go and it is a solar quartz so there's going to be minimal minimal battery replacement on this I believe that these movements are uh, slated to last 10 plus years. I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal. As long as you take it out of the box every once in a while, even shine a light on it, if you haven't worn it in a while, this thing will, will just keep on ticking forever. Love that about it. Uh, the all brushed finish on the case and uh, the bezel as well, at least on the edge of that bezel, uh, is fantastic for a tool watch. A uh, little bit different than the one I am wearing right now, my Seiko Patty Solar Prospects. You can see it's got a lot of uh, mirror polish on the center, uh, fingerprint magnet and whatnot. And so um, the fact that this has uh, an all brushed finish is quite nice for a tool watch. I do also like the fact that this bezel, which we'll talk about in a moment, um, is flush with the case here. And so there isn't really any chance of the bezel getting knocked out of position. You're going to scuff up the case before you do that. Um, the bezel doesn't overhang the case like a lot of other bezels do. I really like that about this bezel. It is uh, a 60 click unidirectional uh, rotating bezel. I'll let you have a listen to it now. Very, very distinct heavy clicks on this. I don't mind the fact that it's only 60 clicks because you can set it accurately to the minute markers that are printed around the rehout. And uh, there's zero back play and of course it lines up perfectly, which is absolutely fantastic. I do like the fact that that seconds hand hits all of the markers 
And this watch has absolutely incredible loom. Uh, just check out this loom shot, which you saw in the up close and personal. Uh, look how bright it is. You can actually see the Citizen logo that's printed there. And anytime loom lasts 20 minutes or longer on my time lapse videos, it's fantastic loom. And just look at how everything on this dial, the indices, hour, the minute hand, and that loom pip are lasting well over 20 minutes. And so the loom on this is absolutely phenomenal. I haven't really tested it against uh, the Seiko, but I would venture to guess that the loom on this Citizen Promaster is better than the Seiko. Um, it's definitely comparable. And so they did a fantastic job of the loom. So that are, or that are, <laughs> those are uh, the many things that I love about this watch. And I do love this uh, look on the orange FKM rubber strap, but let's talk about the strap. Uh, this is a polyurethane strap that it came with. Uh, yes, this is plastic and it is very um, stiff, very rigid, and it is absolutely horrific. It really is. It is so uncomfortable on the wrist. Um, these um, ridges at the top of the band, at the top of where the spring bars goes in, there's really no flex to them whatsoever. Very uncomfortable against the, uh, the bone of, of the wrist there. And it actually, because it's so stiff, causes the, the balance of the watch to be off while you're wearing it on wrist, kind of forcing it up. Uh, upwards over here on the wrist. So this is just absolutely horrible. All right, a couple of more minor grapes about this watch. And, uh, but before we get to those minor grapes, another real positive thing for me is the fact that this is, as mentioned, an ISO certified diver. So it is a true dive watch. So that is a huge, huge plus for me. A couple of other minor grapes, uh, this four o'clock crown, I think I'd rather have it at the three o'clock and it does seem to protrude uh, quite a bit of ways from the case. The action on the crown itself is decent enough. Uh, it is a screwed down crown. It's very easy to grip despite the fact that this has uh, kind of a glossy or a polished finish on the crown it would seem. Uh, it does have a nice distinct pop when it unscrews and there are two distinct clicks. Uh, the first click out will enable you to turn the crown counterclockwise to change the date, as you can see. And then, of course, you pull it out to hack the seconds hand and set the time. So we'll screw that back in. But I do, I do think it would have been better at the 3 o'clock and just maybe a little bit more into the case instead of protruding so far out. Um, the, the date window at the 4 o'clock position I don't mind a date window, but I don't like the fact that it cut that circle uh, almost in half. It just kind of throws the symmetry of the dial off a little bit. So that's one thing that uh, I think I would have changed. Maybe a date window at the six o'clock or just take the, just keep the indice out. Um, anyways, uh, and, and many of you aren't fans of, of the date at the four o'clock. I know that as well. Uh, the other thing I would say is because the bezel is flush with this case, and I do like the fact that it is, um, the coin edge I think should go all the way around the bezel because there are times when it is a little bit harder to grip, um, especially if you don't get your fingers on that coin edge. The coin edge bezel is nice, it's smooth, there's no rough edges to it, but it would have been I think better to have that go around the entire circumference of that bezel to make the action on it a little bit easier um, to to turn and so yeah that's it guys let me show it to you on my wrist it just is a fantastic looking watch on wrist as well uh, obviously I wouldn't uh, recommend it if it didn't look good <laughs> so here it is here's what it looks like on wrist and finally here is what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist I think it is absolutely beautiful. I do love that black and white contrasting off of one another. And that orange FKM rubber strap that I supplied this on really gives it quite a bit of pop. Um, 
definitely better than the supplied polyurethane piece of crap that it came with. So there it is, guys. That's the Citizen Pro Master. Honestly, it is a lot of watch for the price. And if you can get it on Amazon, again, it's only $241. That's Canadian dollars as of the filming of this video. And I think that is an incredible deal for this watch. Very, very pleased with it. Thanks so much for tuning back in, guys. And be sure to check out some other videos of mine. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will see you in the next video. God bless you.